This has been my social distance and self-isolating recipe video. Bye. That's with this lovely beignet. You do three quarter cup of lukewarm water, not hot water, lukewarm water. And then you add a quarter cup of granulated sugar plus two tablespoons and mix it till it comes together. Into that mixture, you add three and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast and don't mix it, just set it aside for eight to 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, add two large eggs to this yeasty mixture and then a half cup of whole milk, three tablespoons of unsalted margarine, which I melted. And then you whisk, 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 whisk till you think that you can't whisk anymore. And it smells so heavenly. I can't believe how heavenly it smells. Then you take four cups of bread flour. And then you add, to that, you add half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then mix that. And then add the wet ingredient to the dry ingredients. But add it in three batches. So add the, the first third. And then mix that together. So that you can have a handle on things. Then mix the last part. Start mixing. Now, this part is just like a testament to my arm strength because it was so sticky. It was, I felt, I was so frustrated at the point because I felt that it wasn't done properly. Then you fly your wax surface and then add the sticky dough to it. So now I need it, need, need, need for a couple of minutes. And then add it to a well-oiled bowl and cover for an hour or two. That's my favorite part. After two hours, uncover it and punch the dough to deflate all the air in it. And then put it on your wax surface and then roll it out with a rolling pin, flatten it. Now, I don't have great skills with a rolling pin. As you can obviously see, I struggled. And all this while I was doing this, my mom was just like roasting me throughout the whole time. And then you cut it with a knife. I wish I had used a pizza cutter to it, but alas. And then fry it in hot oil. Make sure the oil is really, really hot. And you turn it. It looked so lovely and it smelled even better. Once, once it's done, you just sift powdered sugar on top of it. Honestly, add lots of powdered sugar. I'm done with the recipe, we are now coming to taste it. So I don't have a microphone, so forgive me. So this is it, dusted with powdered sugar. It's a lot of powdered sugar, but I'm going to try it now. So no, I'm not going to eat all this. The house is full because of well, social distances. I'm going to share this with everybody. So I finished it. It's really, really addictive. When you take one bite, I'm telling you, you will not stop till you finish the whole plate. I don't know whether it's the powdered sugar, it's the lack of sugar in the thing. Whatever it is, it's so good. It's so pillowy, so doughy, so soft. It's a must try. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Ifwa Labi and once again, you guys should just stay safe out there. Follow every health directive and then let's all be safe so that at the end of the day, when this thing passes, we'll see each other on the other side, give ourselves hugs and then, you know, be stronger together. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you on my next video. And oh, leave me your recipe suggestions on what you want me to do in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my social distancing, self-isolating recipe video. Bye.